You don't hire smart people so you can tell them what to do. You hire smart people so they can tell you what to do. Steve Jobs. Here's a quick tip for you. If you're having to handle six by sixes, like this one's 14 feet long, and you're having to do it by yourself, uh, of course I have the tractor and I'm gonna be putting the forks on it to help me do this. But if you are and you need to put it in the hole, hopefully you have your hole dug right the first time. But if not, you have to pull it out. Take you a number 20 penny nail or a number 40, 30 or 40 penny nail and hammer it in the side. It gives you something to hold on to. They're not too bad to pull back out. Just take a framing hammer and pull them back out when you get done. Also, another thing I like to do is paint the bottom two feet or three feet, depending on how many feet are going in the ground, with some kind of stain or sealer. This sealer here I pick up at the big box stores, it's mist tinted. Um, I gave $9 for that gallon. A lot of times I can pick them up for $5 a gallon. Um, so I always like to paint the bottom two feet, whatever's gonna be in the ground and probably about six inches to a foot above the ground with some kind of sealer. Even though this is gonna be a barn, and this corner's gonna be enclosed, there's still gonna be water that gets in from the ground and ground seepage coming up when you get hard rains. So I feel that putting an extra coat of stain or some kind of water sealer on it helps protect the wood and hopefully it'll last a lot longer.